What's good, YouTube? So we want to make a little series of videos of uh, the cars that we got right now. Um, so I'll start with my first car. And then DDE will do a car for him, car truck. And we'll keep on going vice versa. But I wanted, just wanted to introduce all the cars to the uh, channel. You know what I'm saying? But... My first car is a 2004 Chrysler PT Cruiser GT high output. It is now turned into a uh, stage two uh, ECU injectors, wastegate. I'll show you all that here in a second. We just want to start on the uh, exterior, I guess. So on the exterior, I have a big mount intercooler. For the PT, I've used little Wayne things. <laughs> it's just uh, that's just me. I don't know if they do any work. Uh, crinkle the fender, so I decided to take it off and rock no fender, railroad style. And then we'll just keep on going to the outside. We got an S pipe. Uh, the wheels that I have are going to be old hands A8 AH08 and on the rear the tire size is 255 255 35 18 on the front 255-35-18 they are old hands. They are 18 by 10 and a half in the front, then 18 by 9 and a half in the back. But a little uh, weight reduction. So we got this. Uh, sorry, it's all dirty. But it says SRT4 wagon. Little uh, plate shield for it. Makes it look nice. There's a little differences. We got our badges. 2 4 rail turbo. High output stage 2. And it still is a GT. Uh, this is all the stuff that I have on it right now. There's a little dent right there, but we fixed it with a bandage. Mm -hmm. She also has sport badges too. Same with my mud flaps. Sports. Right. Let's hop inside her real quick and I'll pop the hood. And I'll show you all what's going on on the inside first and then show you the under hood beans all right so oh, let me get out first all right so first things first uh, my driver's seat is an NRG Prisma it's a maroon it's very nice we got Chrysler shoulder pads for it the second seat I know it's, it's dirty in here we're gonna be making some changes, but I got an SRT4 from a Neon, that seat. I do have a race bar. That I painted and then clear coated, so it's all metallic -y. What you already know, we got the DDE sticker. And that's what DDE stands for right there. We do drive exotics too, don't get me wrong. These PTs are fucking wild, but. <laughs> yeah, I got a little hardwood floor that's gonna be changing. I still got all my plastics in here. As you can see, that's gonna be changing. I do have my speakers ripped out right now. That's a good thing. 
We're gonna take this thing to a whole nother level, boys. To a whole nother level. But I got red floor mats all the way around. Once again, I'm sorry, it's dirty. I ripped out the center console because we're gonna be changing that anyways. Same with this. We're gonna leave it how it is for right now and then probably in the next winter, we'll be changing it. I got an NRG steering wheel. I don't know which one this is, but it's flat bottom suede. It's pretty nice. You do got the center console ripped out too. That's gonna be going back up there, but we'll get to that here in another day. We'll show, I'll, I'll show all these videos of me fixing it back up and putting everything where it needs to go. And we got our cluster, our GT cluster. And we're at 124,000 miles on the body. Uh, this is a different motor. I also got these doormats, or door seals, I guess. So Chrysler, it's pretty cool. Uh, and so for the outside of the hood, we got we got one vent right there, another vent right there, just to match. Then we have one in the center. These are through vents. I also got this uh, Chrysler, the new Chrysler emblem. Chrysler with the carbon fiber, pretty nice. Match everything. But yeah, like I was saying, these are through vents. So the reason I did these, so the reason I did these is because this one goes right to my cold air intake. So we'll get fresh air constantly and not get heat soaked. The rear one is for the rear on the exhaust. So get that heat right out. And this one is just a secondary one just to get another more air out of the engine. Uh, let's talk about the motor. So, so what we got on this is we got our hard pipe from uh, Modern Performance, the HKS blow off valve. Uh, just a painted uh, intake manifold. Well, I do have a big mount intercooler. I have the cold side pipe. All it's a hard pipe as well. I got a three bar mapping tip. I've got a Daryl Cox and or coolant overflow. And the other side is a vent. So I have the other port on the valve cover going to that. Um, I do not have a belt on the. Uh, power sharing pulley. Um, yeah, so it's uh, stage two. It's, this is tuned by psych tuning. Um, I also am on uh, coilovers, BC coilovers. There we go. Some BCs. Well, I guess I could have showed you this too. These these in the front and back. But I think that's it. Um, this vehicle is going to be changing a lot here, real quick. So I broke the rear axle beam. Beam. I broke the rear axle beam on it. I. Put it out of whack, so now I gotta get a new axle beam. They're like a hundred dollars from the junkyard. I just gotta go get it, uh, and then I want to drive it around a little bit for like it is. And then I got some surprises when I get them in the mail. I'll show them to you one by one when I get them, just at the start of videos or something like that. And then, yeah, that should probably about do it for. The stage 2 PT